Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So let's start with today's uh, episode. Uh, we have uh, Sunday morning. I hope you had a great weekend and now let's have a look on the Bitcoin price. Because if you watch my yesterday's uh, live stream where we selected the winner of our weekly Bitcoin giveaway, I entered a little uh, short position and uh, so far I am in profits but most likely I'm gonna close it today because even though we could see here some further pushes to the downside most likely we're gonna retrace uh, today back to where we closed the CMEs here at around 9125 on Friday so I guess that most likely we will not have a big gap here to the CME chart and uh, most likely we're gonna retrace towards uh, that direction because also here in the one hour you can see that currently we had yesterday this uh, fake out here to the upside we broke out to the upside from this potential bearish pattern we retraced and immediately back down and also broke out to the downside but currently also we retraced back to where we were trading here um, before we dropped here from this uh, $9,200 support so currently we are still trading around 9k and I think since we are now in the shorter time frames a bit uh, oversold I think we could have here a little retest maybe of the 20 daily moving average or at least go again towards 9100 to 9200 dollars to test this region again before potentially we're gonna continue to drop towards 9k and lower. So here we you see that the RSI and Stochastic are oversold and also in the Bollinger Band after overshooting it to the downside. Currently we are retracing back up here and the target is here between 9070 up to $9,100. And since here is also my entry of the short, I probably gonna close it now and then look for a new entry and for a new trade. Not yet sure if long or short. MACD is also still shifted to the downside so here I'm expecting also a bullish cross as soon as we're gonna retrace towards the middle area of the Bollinger Band and if we go over to the 4 hour time frame here we have currently the 20 moving average now a bit higher than the previous resistance here so currently it's at around $9,100 and the 200 moving average is up here at $9,400 so I think there is still a very high chance that we could retest this area here of around $9,400 to $9,500 maybe next week especially if the stock markets are starting to continue to pump but in case that we just gonna break out here and bounce from this potential bottom area here at around 9k to the upside this could be also a very strong resistance up here the question is only are we able to break out with the next move here to the upside from this falling wedge that we are forming currently because so far we are creating here higher lows in the shorter time frames which is a very bullish sign within this bullish pattern that we are forming currently after we dropped here from this $9,500 support. So even though I expect the price to go towards 8K, it is also possible that before that we're gonna break out here again to the upside and retest $10,000. So we have to see what will happen once we're going again towards here the 200 moving average in the four hour and test this region here of $9,400 to $9,000. $500 because I think it is still very likely that we will go to retest this region very soon again and here in the 4 hour you see that now the RSI is trading below the 50 stochastic is also coming down towards oversold condition but as you can see here the target would be down towards 8600 in case that we're gonna see a complete play out of this potential little descending triangle and then have a big bounce here at the support of this falling wedge but currently we are forming these higher lows which is very bullish because this could indicate that we're coming towards the $9,250 resistance up here if we continue to trade like that and then see a potential breakout here to the upside that is very possible to happen and if we have a look on the Bollinger Band in the 4 hour here also you can see that we're trading in the lower part also this morning we came down to 9k we tested it again and currently we're bouncing again towards the middle line which is also at around $9,100 MACD has right now a bearish cross so it is possible that we're gonna see some further pushes to the downside but as I told you most likely towards the end of the day we're gonna retrace towards $9,100 where also the CM is uh, closed but this is also what we have to see uh, later today. 
And now let's have a look on the daily time frame because uh, here you can see that currently we're still trading below the 20 daily moving average, which is currently at 9,230. So in theory, we could go also up there to retest this moving average. And since we're trading now below the 20 daily moving average and also below the 50 level in the RSI, we are technically in a downtrend now and we should expect to see further moves to the downside, also potentially to bring the RSI down to oversold condition because we still have a lot of room left to the downside stochastic is coming to oversold so that is good and you can see that the 200 daily moving average is now very close to our uh, bottom of this falling wedge so it is possible that we're going to trade in this area here for quite some time potentially also go down to retest the bottom of this falling wedge where also the 200 daily moving average could line up very very soon and then see a big bounce from it and break here this 9200 dollar resistance and start again heading towards 9500 and 10000 this is what I'm expecting if we continue to trade like that and not start to trade below the 200 daily moving average because in that case we could drop even down to $6,400. And now let's open up the Bollinger Band in the daily because here we still are trading in the lower part. We got rejected so far from the first middle line. So in theory we could drop today towards $8,900 again. Only if we are able to break here the first middle line and potentially also the second here at $9,300, then I think we could be in here for a big move towards $10,000 again. But so far we are definitely shifted to the downside and also the MACD is still bearish. So here we still didn't see a bullish cross. This is what I'm waiting here to see in the MACD before a potential reversal here and the test of this $9,500 and also potentially break it. And now let's have a look on the weekly time frame because today we're gonna close a weekly candle and it looks like that once more we're gonna have a red week and we are still trading above the 20 weekly moving average which is perfectly lining up with our support of this falling wedge that we are in currently. So this is still very bullish but I'm expecting a possible test here of this moving average which is still here at around $8,650. We have the stochastic still overbought so it is possible that we first have to cool it off here a little bit and also the RSI is slightly above the 50 level so it is possible that first we are going to touch the 50 in the RSI, also retest the 20 weekly and then have a bounce again to the upside. So this is what I'm expecting here in the next couple of weeks and hopefully also hold it just in case that we're not going to hold the 20 weekly moving average i think we could see maybe a short lift move to the downside towards the 0.618 fib line maybe it will also take a couple of weeks till we're going to recover from it but these are my bearish targets in case that this important line here at around eight thousand six hundred dollar will not hold and if we have a look on the Bollinger Band, here you can see that we're still trading here between the two middle lines, so between $9,200 and $8,200. And I think this could also be the trading range before we're gonna see another big move to the upside. So it is very likely that we're gonna stay in this area in here for quite some time before we're gonna see another big leg up. But this is only if in the next couple of days we are not able anymore to recover above $9,200. MACD is coming here to a potential bearish cross if we continue to trade like this in the weekly. So this is also what we have to keep in mind that currently the MACD is still bullish. But here if we continue to trade sideways, we're going to see a potential bearish cross in the MACD in the weekly, which could indicate that we may be going to drop even further down than 8,200, potentially towards the bottom here, which is also at around 6,000 dollar, where also our most bearish target is lining up. All right, guys, and with that said, I'm gonna wrap it up for now. Remember that we are doing from tomorrow on again, the $10 Bitcoin giveaway. So tune in tomorrow in the Twitch video. You find the link to my Twitch channel down below here in the video description. And those videos are sponsored from Bityard. If you're interested to open up an account over on the Bityard where you can trade Bitcoin and other altcoins with Tether, you find the link down below here in the video description because with my link, you can get some sign up bonuses and on Bityard, you can get a lot of rewards based on your trading volume. And of course, I also recommend you very much Bybit. This is my favorite exchange to trade with cryptos because here you can trade Bitcoin, Ethereum, EOS and also XRP up to 100x of uh, leverage. 
and here also you will get a lot of rewards and bonuses if you use my link that you find down below here if you still need an account and also feel free to join our free discord trading chat everyone is welcome and we have a great community there so shout out to all the members of the discord trading chat if you're not member yet then make sure to join our community the link is also down below here in the video description so leave a like if you like the content my friends subscribe to the channel and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye